Okay, next we have uh, people from the Miss American pageant. Miss America pageants. Yeah. And in the first car here, we have uh, uh, Ayla Joanna Gibson. She is the Miss Coastal Shores Little Princess. She's being driven in a beautiful big Jeep. Indeed. That's so the crowd can see you so well. Next, we have Reagan White, who was recently crowned the Eastern Shores Outstanding Team. She's a 14-year-old resident of West Stefford. She's riding in a beautiful yellow 55 Thunderbird convertible. Look at that car. Yeah, I don't know who's having more fun, the driver or Reagan, but it doesn't matter. I think they're both enjoying themselves. Absolutely. In January, she's going to be competing in the New Jersey State pageant. How about that? Next, we have Sofia DePlano, and she's the newly crowned Miss South Shores Outstanding Preteen 2015. Oh, my goodness. Preteen 2015. Yeah, yeah. She's from Washington Township. She attends Orchard Valley Middle School. All right. Well, Talk about another beautiful car, black Mustang she's in. Well, the Mustang, you can't go wrong with a Mustang convertible. No. Sophia DePlato. One of the great vacations Sophia. I went on, we rented a Mustang convertible, and it made it that much better. Oh, not bad. South Shores Outstanding Preteen 2015. She is 10 years old, attends Virgin Valley Middle School, and lives in Washington Township. Sophia DePlato. Next, we have Go, Sophia. Here we have Emily Cooney and Gabriella Amarito. Emily Cooney is Miss Seashore Line's outstanding preteen. Uh, she's 12 years old, a resident of Mantua. She's in seventh grade at Clearview Middle School, and she loves to dance. And uh, Gabriella Amarito is Miss South Shore's outstanding team. She's a sophomore at Paul VI High School. She's a member of the varsity dance team and the competition team. All right, coming up we have uh, Nia Eli. And uh, Nia's title is Miss Coastal Shores Outstanding Preteen. She's a fifth grader at Walden Mercy Academy and is a resident of Deptford, New Jersey. She wants to be a fashion designer and a performer when she grows up. Well, being a fifth grader, she has plenty of time to work those things out. Absolutely. So we wish her a lot of luck.